All right, hey everyone, Ben here, and I am excited to record this video today. Um, this morning I was on the Mevo customer group and uh, saw a post by Eden Jones that connected his, uh, he's got an HDMI like handy camera that has an HDMI output and was able through uh, an app to bring it into Mevo Multicam through use of the new beta release of, uh, depending on if you're on iOS or on Android, uh, the Mevo Go app or the Mevo Mic app. And so bringing that in to the Mevo Multicam app, uh, man, I was excited. So I'm primarily a, an iOS guy, um, but I do have a Android tablet. So I, I tried to find within the, the iOS store, um, the app store, trying to find a similar app. And I'm still gonna look, but I was not not able to find something. But when I went into the, the Google Play store, I found several apps right away and played around with a couple of them. And I found one that seems to work really well. So I wanna show you kind of a quick setup. Uh, again, I just kind of threw this together. Um, but I was excited to show you. So I'm um, gonna switch over to uh, this camera here. You don't wanna see me. Let me get flipped around here. I uh, wanna show you uh, this current setup. So uh, what I am running, this is my iPad 12.9 inch M1 um, and I'm running stage manager, which by the way is incredible. You're able to run external monitors, you're able to run uh, several apps at the same time. So if you are using uh, the Mevo Multicam app and then also need to monitor comments or if you're sports streaming, uh, you're able to run a scoring app at the same time. So uh, I know that this is still in beta, but uh, man, it's been stable and it works awesome. And so, yeah. Excited to show that part as well, but almost more excited to show how I got this other camera into my Mevo Multicam streaming setup. All right, so as you as you can see here, I've got four cameras inputted. Uh, this one that you're looking at through this is through my iPhone 14 using the Mevo Mic app and the video sharing function. Uh, this one. Here is my Mevo Plus uh, run through a boost. So that's awesome that it still supports these older cameras. This view here is a Mevo Start that I have and I'm using it primarily as my audio source. I'm using a, a Rode Wireless Go and so it's plugged into the back of, of that camera and, and that's how that's set up. I've got it pointed at this camera that I and now I'm gonna kind of show you what I've done to kind of get set up. All right, so this is a, a Canon, I don't know, Vixia. It's an older Handycam, but uh, the important things within it is that it uh, has video or HDMI out um, that, I, that I'm able to capture everything with. And I actually didn't mean to zoom in like that. Um, so uh, HDMI out, and then that cable is run into this capture card here. So HDMI in, and then it outputs to USB-C cable, which that USB-C cable is now plugged into uh, this Galaxy tablet I have. Um, I'll, I don't remember the exact model and specifications of it, but uh, I'll put that down in the in the description, video description for you. All right, so what this now allows me to do is, um, so I run, like I said, I run that camera through the capture card into this uh, USB camera app, and I'll, again, put the description uh, or the, Link to the con or to <laughs> link to the app uh, in the description, and then also utilizing the uh, Mevo Go app on Android to screen capture 
that's how I am getting this now into Mevo Multicam. All right, so this little camera, I'm gonna go ahead and switch to that view of it. So you're looking, you're now looking through that camera and you're able to see the stop sign down here at the end of the road. Uh, you can see the piece of trash and that weed blowing in the wind. Um, I can even zoom in a little bit further, I think. Yep, that's all I've got right there. So this is gonna be a little jerky and shaky just because I'm zoomed in all the way, but just wanted to be able to show you uh, what's what we have that's capable now. Uh, so I'm gonna zoom back out uh, just to get, kind of give you an idea on distance and what I'm looking at here. So as you saw in that other camera shot, this is set up right in front of my window and looking out towards the end of the road there. That has got to be, I would say 300 yards or so. Uh, and then you're also able to see up on the hill there, uh, there's a, a small trailer park. And so uh, not trying to be a creeper or anything, but uh, can kind of zoom in and I can even read house numbers on some of these. So um, see if I can find one here for you. Um, I'll try to see one there. Uh, there's a house number there. I don't, can't really make it out. Um, I think there's, yeah, there's one right there. Uh, that one's number 10. I can read that here on my preview screen. So pretty, pretty incredible. It, obviously this opens up a lot of possibilities and capabilities and what we're trying to do in mobile live streaming. Uh, the Mevo Multicam app has been great in um, giving us lots of flexibility and capabilities, but this uh, beta of this app is now gonna allow us to bring in some other cameras that have different uh, strengths than, than, what, uh, than what Mevo can offer currently. So, um, man, this is incredible. Um, there's obviously some, some more playing around that, that I'm hoping to do. Uh, I don't know latency. I don't, haven't played around with that, with what we're seeing and what's being transmitted back and through. Um, as I kind of watch on my tablet, the preview of this, as I zoom, less than a half a second probably delay as you zoom or change, you know, um, before that becomes visible. So I think probably something that's would be fairly acceptable. I can't imagine it'd be uh, really problematic. Um, as you can kind of see in, when I switch to that scene, uh, we've got a little more of a black border around this view than what we would have, than what we do as we look at you know, this view or even from uh, my camera on my iPhone. Um, so I don't know, maybe some, some different availability in some of the settings of this app. Uh, again, I didn't spend a significant amount of time playing with this. I saw that it, it would work and got it set up. And so was just excited to share this with you. Um, so yeah, um, Mevo Multicam with the beta, depending on if you're using iOS or Android, this Mevo Go or Mevo Mic app. Um, it's in beta right now and you can access that through the Mevo support group on Facebook. Uh, if you're not a part of that group, I'd encourage you to do that. A great community there uh, when people experience trouble or uh, different issues, many people are on, on there are quick to to try and find a solution quick to try and, and help you troubleshoot. Uh, of course, the, the Mevo uh, customer support itself is, is great. So um, great community. And then, yeah, um, I'm excited to share this setup that I've quickly threw together uh, with that group as well. So uh, Mevo is, is really beginning to, to knock it out of the park with releasing even more capabilities of a camera that, man, is, is just incredibly flexible uh, in what it can do and what it can accomplish. And uh, with an ultra portable setup, 
uh, this is probably the thing I'm most excited about is, is able to do and set up these mobile live streams in such a way that uh, you don't have to have a ton of equipment to pull off something that, uh, that is quality. And with the addition of this app and the features that are coming within it, uh, it's only getting better. So anyway, wanted to share uh, my excitement with you again today. Uh, being able to bring in a, a camera with this uh, ability to be able to zoom in like that, um, man, this is good. So anyway, appreciate you watching. And uh, as I do some more testing, I'll have some more videos to show a little later on. So again, thanks.